Joan has two yards of fabric to sew outfits for her dog. Her aunt buys her five more yards of fabric. How many feet of fabric does Joan have now? So let's start with our answer statement. Joan has blank feet now. Now we draw our strip diagram. Here's my starting line. I'm gonna use the letter F for fabric. Joan has two yards of fabric to sew outfits for her dog. Her aunt buys her five more yards of fabric. How many feet of fabric does Joan have now? To solve this, we could make an input-output table and use our mathematics chart to help us. On this side, I'm going to write yards, and on this side, feet. One yard is three feet, two yards are six feet, three yards are nine feet, four yards are 12 feet, and five yards are 15 feet. So the story tells us that Joan has two yards of fabric. So according to my table, two yards of fabric is the same as six feet. Her aunt buys her five more yards of fabric. And according to my table, five yards is the same as 15 feet. So when I add those together, six and 15, are 21 feet of fabric. Joan has two yards of fabric to sew outfits for her dog. Her aunt buys her five more yards of fabric. If each outfit requires five feet of fabric, how many outfits can Joan make for her dog? So this is a very similar problem to the one we just did. I've already set up our answer statement in our strip diagram. The first time we did this problem, we used an input output table. But remember, sometimes you can also use the strip diagram, which we're gonna do right now. I have two yards of fabric that Joan already had, the five more yards that her aunt bought her. Inside of each yard, I put three feet, because according to our mathematics chart, one yard is the same as three feet. When I add these all together, I still get 21 feet. But our question this time is a little different. If each outfit requires five feet of fabric, how many outfits can Joan make for her dog? So now we have to make a math movie in our brain. If you have 21 feet of fabric, we need to take five of those feet, put them together and make an outfit. Another five feet, make an outfit. Another five feet, and those also make an outfit. So our math movie should be telling us that we're gonna take 21 feet and separate it into equal groups. Whenever I'm separating equally, my job is to divide. So my equation looks like this. 21 divided by five. Instead of putting an O for outfits, because sometimes an O can look like a zero, I'm just gonna put the letter F. There's an F inside of the word outfits, so this will make sense to me. 21 divided by five. You can do that any way you want. You might do 21 minus 5 minus 5 minus 5 and keep going and going until you just can't anymore. Or you can use a division strategy. So the answer here would be 4 with the remainder of 1. 4 is actually the number of outfits Joan can make. This one represents the foot of fabric that she has left after she makes all the outfits she possibly can. That weighs 34 pounds. Nathan has a dog that weighs 500 ounces. How much more does Jorge's dog weigh? Here's my answer statement. Now I need a strip diagram. This time it's gonna include two strip diagrams because we are comparing the weight of Jorge's dog and the weight of Nathan's dog. So Jorge gets a bar, 
and so does Nathan. The question is, how much more does Jorge's dog weigh? So I know that Jorge's strip diagram has to be longer than Nathan's. Jorge has a dog that weighs 34 pounds, so I could divide this strip diagram into 34 sections, but that would take a really long time, and I probably didn't make my strip diagram long enough to do that. So I'm going to indicate that there are 34 pounds like this. So here's the first pound. the pounds in between, and then here is the last pound. Nathan has a dog that weighs 500 ounces. For that one, I'm just gonna write 500 on the outside here. You'll see why in just a second. How much more does Jorge's dog weigh? So the information about Jorge's dog is in pounds, and the information about Nathan's dog is in ounces. So we need to get those to match. We either need to talk about Jorge and Nathan's dog in pounds, or we need to talk about Jorge's dog and Nathan's dog in ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and change Jorge's dog from pounds to ounces. You can absolutely do that with an input-output table. For this question, I'm going to use the strip diagram to help me. My mathematics chart says that one pound is the same as 16 ounces. So every single pound all the way to the 34th pound is also 16 ounces. So now we need to find out how many ounces Jorge's dog weighs. I could do repeated addition. 16 and 16 and 16 and 16 over and over and over again until I have 34 16s or we can multiply and you can do that using the standard algorithm or partial products whichever one you're comfortable with. When I solve 34 times 16 I get 544 ounces. Now it's easier for me to compare Jorge's dog and Nathan's dog. Here's my equation. 544 minus 500 equals M. I chose M because it says how much more does Jorge's dog weigh. You can pick any letter that you'd like as long as it makes sense to you. You can also do this math any way you'd like. 544 minus 500 equals 44 ounces. Jorge's dog weighs 44 more ounces.